<laughs> Scoreboard nuke. Imagine. Kind of going off here. Yo guys, what is up? It is CJ or Sora will bring you this video on my channel once again. Now in today's Crunker video, they already updated Crunker again. We're on version 2.0.1. Small update, but it's an update nonetheless. Literally a day later, they gave us an update. How nice. I'm actually super excited about this because I really think this is going to be a regular thing. Knock on wood. But at the same time, this could just be leftover content that was going to be in 2.0 that they just could not fit in. Because I know how badly they really wanted to give us this update. But regardless, I'm very appreciative of this update. And ones to come. But in today's video, we're going to be going over update 2.0.1 and also talking about a few things and playing a new game mode they added into this update. But before we get into this video, if you guys are new to the channel and like what you see, make sure you guys leave a like and also subscribe to the channel for more Crunker content like this. Hashtag road to 50k. Everybody comment hashtag road to 50k. Since there's a new update, I think we're on the free spin thing. So we've gained a lot of subscribers recently. And I just want to say thank you guys a lot for that. But for some reason, if you're watching and you're not subscribed, please subscribe to the channel. It'd mean the world to me. It would help me on the road to 50k. So hashtag road to 50k. And also they did add even more skins to this update. So if you guys want to support your boy while buying crunkies, use creator code Sorable in the Crunker item shop. Okay, so without further ado, let's go over this patch note super duper quick. So they added settings for old leaderboard style. I believe that's talking about where the kill feed is in the top right. And set it in the old settings to go back to the left. Added new skins, as I just mentioned. Added a new die, which is really cool. I will show that real quick. Fixed challenges bug with kill streak challenges. The challenges have actually been super duper fun. I'm on level four. It's actually been super fun and it gives me a good reason to play this game. Not that there's not like a good reason to play it, but like I have reason in my life to play Krunker, if that makes sense. Purpose. Fix kill player trigger action, fix vote kick issues, fix name tags and prop hunt, reset scoreboard and player list keybinds, added headshot to kill card stat, added king of the hell game mode work in progress, that's what I'll be doing in this video, added six new challenge levels more coming soon, I am I really hope they add more and more and more because I'm going to be flying through them, added lag comp setting back, it's for lag compensation, fixed spawn undefined issues, added billboards to sub-zero, fixed add issues, fixed disable borders host option, Added three new sprays to spins, have not seen these yet. Added show hands to settings, I guess you can make your hands not visible. Added name tag health number setting, which is nice. Minor weapon swapping optimizations and, and minor social visual changes. So like I said, very small update, but it's an update nonetheless. Guys, I actually love the idea of dyes. I've always kind of hated how you're just kind of stuck on the default clothing for your class, especially Hunter, it's just brown. It's kind of low-key ugly, I hate to say it. But if you're lucky enough to get, you know, either of these contrabands, they have a white, which I think it looks insane and i would love to use this which is spectral on or they have vanta black which is just black they can literally make certain dives that make your person have certain logos on him like a, a verb logo or a north logo or a sorbo logo that'd be really super duper sick but that was the 2.0.1 update and so now that we've gone through the patch notes we're gonna go ahead and play king of the hill my only issue is i know king of the hill is a work in progress but it always seems like they add a bunch of game modes like look how many game modes we have but none of them are public. Like none of them are in public matches. And I understand most of them. I understand most of them, that makes sense. Infected could most definitely be a public game mode. Uh, gun game would could most definitely, most definitely be a public game mode. And King of the Hill most definitely could be a public game mode. Some of these I understand why they're not, but you know, just playing FFA, Team Deathmatch, Hardpoint, and Capture the Flag over and over and over again on the same select maps, gets kind of old so i'd like to see some switch up like infected would be fun on sandstorm getting crunkies and xp for that same with king of the hill and same with gun game gun game could be insane and a lot of fun but that's for another day sid or vince if you guys are watching this please consider that but without further ado let's get a king of the hill game going so i think i'm gonna make it i'm gonna do 10 players because i want it to be a little bit more hectic than usual but i don't want half 16 and it's gonna be normal game times and everything we're gonna start it and then i'm gonna invite my discord if you guys want to join my discord the link will be down in the description i sometimes will ask you guys to come play games with me so so the invite has been sent to over 1900 people which is insane let's just see what happens so this is free for all i forgot to switch the game modes i'm an idiot okay so <clears throat> we did get it successfully started and um i believe that this is pretty much just low key point or hard point but free for all which is kind of cool 
we're getting some people in the game i actually am starting to like this new system i just don't like how i can't see this without pressing a button but i like how long the kill feed goes so we're probably gonna have a bunch of tryhards in the game i, I hate to say it but yeah pretty much just who gets to sit on this sit on this thing for longer king of the hill is a, po a very popular game mode in other games so we'll see how it goes for us so far this boy is winning right here we gotta take him out gotta get some some points for this hard point oh it switched this is interesting especially it's pretty much just point free for all which i think is a really cool concept i like it a lot I'm getting destroyed by my viewers though <laughs> it's so hectic oh so i'm getting some points right now gotta watch this side i think this would be a better vantage point because i can watch both sides got him We're holding it down, holding it down. It's scary. So I don't know. A lot of people don't know that Crunker updates a whole lot. So I feel like a lot of them don't even know that this is a new game mode yet. But it's hard to say who is winning. I don't know if this is strictly point based or if it's strictly points gained off of the hard point, if that makes sense. Okay, so I think it's strictly points off the hard point and I'm winning so far, which is cool. By the way, I did get this kunai. I was opening some boxes last night and I'll play that right now. So that was pretty cool i mean really wanted that unobtainable but i also will take the kunai i did not have it a lot of people are leaving which is interesting but i think we'll, we'll just get refilled Dude, i'm getting wrecked by my own viewers but yeah this could most definitely be a public game uh, i just i, I all my only reasoning behind that it's not a public match game mode yet is that it's a work in progress they want to knock out all the kinks that's my guess but i don't know for certain whoa 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 yeah it's a little bit hectic especially since it's a 10 player game compared to the standard eight but this is relatively how hectic it would be in general if it was in public matches so i'm currently winning by 90 right now I, no one's really playing the point which is odd they're just kind of going for kills got the nice little double the, the aim is impeccable got him i think there's another one oh it just you can't do anything okay okay we're on the point we're holding it down this is the last point let's just see if we can hold it the whole time probably not cause these kids are insane someone's probably gonna spawn right there got him need to reload really badly please okay so we did get the dub i don't really know how much people are trying to play the objective but it's really interesting to see how it only counted my point score we got 420 of course because you know your boy so koth king of the hill so shipyard's gonna be absolutely insane i can tell you this now so people might have caught on a little bit more that this is an objective based mode yeah this map's gonna be absolutely insane so hopefully i can stay on the point for more than a few seconds but i don't know yeah i'm losing by a little bit right now we got that nice double someone's gonna be right here okay okay and then we're dead is that is that a rocketeer okay no i thought that was a rocketeer maybe this is just not the right map to be playing this game mode on I do kind of wish that uh, Shipyard was a public match, though. I honestly really do. I think it could be, could be a lot of fun. One thing that I'm noticing right now is I don't know how, how true to the actual experience this is, because it seems like everyone's targeting me. Maybe I'm just crazy. They're everywhere. Uzis, you're going to Uzi me? Oh, I like the kill feed a lot up there, actually. It's hard to get used to, but I like how long it is. Won't last for long. I get my free points before I die. You get like one point and then you're out of there. Mission Impossible win this. Honestly, this is crazy. Kind of going off here. Oh, that should have killed you. Once you get used to the shotgun again, it, it kind of starts feeling nice. Oh, the double. Ah, should have been a triple. I'm dead. Okay, so I tried my absolute hardest for the rest of that game, and I still lost. Uh, no, See, I think people are just trying their heart out to try to, you know, I don't know, impress me or something. And they're just not playing the objective, and that's the whole point of this video. Like, everyone's killing each other way out of spawn, which is, it's whatever, I guess. But, like, that's not the point of this video. 
Got my one. Got my two. Got my three. That should have been three, then four right there. <laughs> Scoreboard nuke. Imagine. Got one. Got two. Got three. And that looks like aimbot. Nice little collat. Oh, you gotta kill me? You know, but King of the Hill has been super fun. It's like a free-for-all hard point. Only thing is, it seems like no one really plays the, ob the objective, just like every other game mode in this game, which I think is a big issue. I think there should be more reward and value to playing the objective compared to just getting kills because it all works the same. I guess in this one, your points are based off of, you know, how long you're on the point, which is good. But at the same time, if I'm only getting 500 points a game, it's only 500 XP, give or take, and then that's just not optimal. So hopefully they can fix this somehow. I'm a, this is a work in progress. So, but that's my opinion. I think uh, game mode should be more rewarding in playing them, like their objective. Because you know I could play CTF and get 7,000 points if I play the objective, but I could also get two nukes if I don't play the objective. Same thing with hard point. I could literally not step on that point once and you know get the same amount of points. I could lose, but I'd still get those XP. If I'm only getting 100 XP per game, that this would not be worth it to play. But this has been a lot of fun. I actually really appreciate this update. As I said before, Sid and Vince, Crunker team, thank you guys so much for this update. Let me know how you guys think of this update in the comments down below. You guys still liking 2.0? I'm loving it personally. I have not had enough time to play it in its fullest extent. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys did enjoy this video, make sure you guys leave a like, a comment, and also subscribe to the channel for more Crunker content like this. Guys, hashtag road to 50k. We are so close. We are less than 4,000 subscribers away, which means in less than four weeks, we're going to hit... 50,000 subscribers. I'm so excited, guys. Your guys' support means the world to me. And now that Crunker's updating more and more and more, I think it's just gonna keep on going and going and going. And I'm just so excited for the future. I appreciate you guys and I love you guys. But yeah, this was King of the Hill. It was fun. I enjoyed it. Thank you guys so much for watching once again. And as always, it's been your boy, CJ or Sorable. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.